I have never missed a game. I've never been late for a game, and I have never left a game early. But I almost did with one game. You know how the traffic is on QEW. I drove on the shoulder. I saw a cop with the lights. As soon as he saw me, he said, "Oh, aren't you now part of the super fan? Don't do it again. I'm going to let you go now, and I'm going to escort you." Don't do it. I don't do it anymore. I am now Batia Raptors super fan. This was the jersey which Isaiah Thomas gave me. These are VC15 shoes, Vince Carter's original samples. This was Rehana. I sat with her. Vince Carter's North Carolina. This is signed by LeBron James. So I'm going to give this to one of these days to somebody who really loves LeBron. I came to Canada in 1984. It was a tough time. It was a struggling time because to Uh, adjust in a new country it is difficult but i was uh, well employed at the time and i got promoted to management very quickly in the car business and uh, you know i kept on growing from there my first exposure to basketball was in the early 90s when i was working and living here in toronto canada and uh, it was through the television watching michael jordan larry bird Isaiah Thomas 24 years ago when I first went to the basketball game there were thousands of people but there were only 30 south asians or brown people and only I was the one with the turban and beard today if you go to a game you will see over 3000 people who are brown who are and lot of them wearing turbans in 99 I start bringing people to celebrate our new years at the arena on the basketball court we used to get 8 minutes to do the cultural show and represent our community and celebrate besakhi which is our new years in april and i used to buy a lot of tickets and bring kids from all places like the sikhs like the hindus muslims from all areas single mother kids scarborough wives everywhere we used to bring the kids from so that they can be sitting together and watching watch the game together and integrate with each other that's how it starts and when they grow up they they have no hatred against anybody they love each other they accept everybody they respect every religion and every faith and gender we have been doing that for 20 years and today those kids which we brought 15 years 17 years 18 years ago they are all working they have good jobs and they are spending the money to buy the season tickets and that's how we are seeing lot of south asians at the game of basketball in our arena and i hope that can transform into other arenas also so that we can make a happier society everywhere when that uh, tweet came which uh, was not a good tweet i was told about it It happened actually after the fourth game which we played against Milwaukee in the playoffs and we won that game and I believe that particular fan from Milwaukee got angry and posted it and you know social media can be good but social media can be bad also it can kill you also at the next game which was in Milwaukee I was there I was hugged and loved by lot of hundreds of fans Milwaukee fans wearing milwaukee jerseys i think he noticed that then he googled me from most probably and found out who i am what religion i am and what i do and all that and he felt very silly stupid inside credit to him kudos to him that he realized that he was a big guy because he decided to call me and apologize that's big of him we had a discussion for 14 15 minutes and he apologized and cursed himself and i said don't curse yourself everybody makes mistake and you it, this is forget forgiven and forgotten and let's be friends and i told him then when i next time i come to milwaukee i want to take him and his son for a dinner i have experienced this 30 years ago 34 years ago when i first came to canada also same kind of stuff but i never got an, uh, angry about it i found this solution by arguing with each other and calling discrimination and all that you don't go you don't move forward you don't solve much 
We are different, we look different, but deep inside, 99.99% we are all same, irrespective of our color, religion, faith, or whatever it is. And I told him that we have changed a negative situation into a positive situation by being friends in the future. I think there was a good thing coming out of that tweet now. And fans, make sure we support them like we have never done it before. Yes, we have been very, we are the best in the league. But now, this is a championship series. We got to race. We got to go high. So let's do it all together. Make sure we are giving the loudest cheers. Raptors in seven. Go Raptors, go. We the North.